Hey, what's up, guys? Check out my T-shirt. I just got that. I hope you like it. I'm digging the green. I usually wear black. Today, we have Rory from Plumbing Innovations, and he has a cool story to tell. Um, Rory, how many months ago did you hire my company? Uh, I believe we're in our second month now. Wow, month two. Okay, cool. So in the second month now. So he just completed one month. He's in the second month now, uh, headed to three, right? Since you've hired me, um, what did you hire me for exactly so far? So um, we wanted to target social media, um, kind of understanding that as the business develops and as times change, needing to focus more in the digital platform and stuff. And, and that's how I found you was via digital media. So um, specifically for Facebook and Yelp. Sweet. And so you, um, I believe you're also doing a little bit of business coaching, right? And yes. uh, I wanted you to touch base on what's happening with the business coaching, this stuff right here, the seven figure plumbing business owners, where you're learning some of the seven print and we haven't gone through all seven, but in just less than 60 days, what has happened to your mindset? This is my 10th year in business and I've been through a lot of ups and downs and never in the 10 years of owning this business has, a, have I ever felt the need like I do now to actually be an owner and invest more in the business than just being the physical person in the field or in the office or whatever. But I'm learning and it's opening my eyes to the fact that there's more to business than just than just doing it. There's more to be, there's more to being a plumber than installing water heaters, especially being the, an owner. You, know, you are the face of your business and, and it's very important for you to be out there and marketing yourself and, and building relationships with other businesses and your local municipalities and all these different um, programs and, and things that we have available to us that not only help build our business, but help um, solidify ourselves in our local market and become part of the community and not just a business in the community, but an active member in your, in your community. And, and those, these are things that I'm getting my eyes opened up to just by being part of this program. You know, things that I never would have put any time or effort into before. Cause I just, you just don't think about them. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. That reminds me of the other day I had lunch with my wife. We had a sandwich and it was called firehouse subs. And they, all they do is serve sandwiches, but the whole theme was a fire department. I mean, they had fire department stuff everywhere and they donate money to them. And it felt good to know that part of my money going is, is helping out the local fire department. And so these are the things that like attach your company into something that means more to the community. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you doesn't mean you have to give up all your money, but you know, there's a way to donate. Um, Court, uh, Rory, I have a one more question. Um, in the last 60 days doing the business coaching, what do you feel has been the biggest takeaway that has helped you um, so far? What has been the best takeaway mentally? Um, I know we're doing services for you like Facebook and Yelp, but um, I want you to talk about the mindset, the business coaching side of things. What has been your biggest takeaway so far? Knowing that I'm not alone in this what I'm going through, what I'm experiencing, the ups and downs of business, um, mentally, what it does to you, where it puts you, <clears throat> the financial aspect, the, the work aspect, the, the where you want to be, your goals, all of that, you're not alone. There's other people, many other people that are going through the same type of things, and it's a community. And once you become part of that community, you now have other business owners that you can bounce these, these problems and ideas and things off of. And, and you get that feedback from other people who are in the same spot as you, or, or even more so people who have been there, done that. You know, I'm in a position now because of this group that I'm helping mentor another business here locally. Um, we actually just had lunch the other day and it was a, it was a great meeting. You know, he's a he's first year in business. I'm year 10. There's a lot of information that I have that I can give him that I never would have thought that would be beneficial before until doing this in, until being part of this program. You know, I have a lot of mistakes that I've made, um, a lot of errors, a lot of things that I can knowledge that I can give him. I, and I, can, I can give him 10 years of business knowledge in just a friendship. And then we're going to bounce some business back and forth because of it. So the, uh, the biggest takeaway is, is knowing that there are others out there and that you're building more than just an advertising partner. You're actually building 
relationships and friendships with people out there that want to help each other succeed. That is so tight. And I think you and that other local plumber are sharing like water heaters and drain calls and passing them back and forth, right? Yeah. Yeah. My company, uh, we don't, my guys don't like doing drain calls. They just don't. They're, it's just one of those things that we've always struggled with in the business. And this is what he does. So he's going to get all of my drain calls. <clears throat> and in return, he's going to send me over the, the things that he doesn't, he can't do or don't want to do because he's a one man show. We're going to get his sewer replacements. You know, he's one guy. So if, if he needed to replace 20 feet of bellied sewer line, it's not something that, that, that he, he should invest his time in right now. Later down the road, he will. But as of right now, it don't make sense. So we'll get that stuff. You know, he's going to sell Halo units and we're going to go put them in. You know, things like that. You know, we're, we're building those partnerships together. And, and, and it, it's, it's actually a blessing for me because I have, I have good relationships with customers that I know that if I send my guys out to do these drain calls, that I'm not giving them the best value that they can get. And now I have an answer to that problem. That is so tight. I, I love that you're building uh, very strong business relationships within the seven figure a plumbing business owners group because the guys are coming together every Wednesday and we're doing group coaching and they get to rub elbows and meet each other. These two guys are in the same city, didn't really know each other a lot, but now they're having lunch and passing each other work and making more money together and helping each other. And that's what happens when you rub elbows with other millionaires. <laughs> you know, like we all yep. iron sharpens iron, right? So that's all I have for today. Hope you guys are having a great day. And of course, if you're interested in business coaching, if you need uh, to be, become a part of a community where it's filled with other plumbing business owners, you definitely want to look into the seven figure plumbing business owners group. And if you click on the link, then you will gain access and I'll see you soon.